online. I'm Miss Murray. Today, we are in the middle of our series, Made in God's Image. Anyone play football or soccer or volleyball or compete in any way? It feels great to win, but sometimes it doesn't feel so good to lose. Today, we're gonna to talk about something called empathy. Empathy is sharing in how someone else feels. Like when someone feels sad, we might be sad too because they're sad and we care about them. Or when someone's happy, we can be happy for them because they're happy. We are going to take a look at why this is an important part of what it means to be made in God's image. Speaking of happy, singing makes me happy. Let's start off by singing our memory verse together. masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. So we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. So we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. So we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. So we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. That was great, guys. That song reminds us that because we are created in the image of God, we are able to come more and more like Him. Which means we can show empathy to other people just like Jesus did. Let's check out the story from the Bible of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead to learn more about how He shows empathy to others. Stories of the Bible. Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus who was very sick. <coughs> he had two sisters named Mary That's okay. and Martha. Here you go who sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. So come on. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus's sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God. Uh, what? So although Jesus loved Martha, Mary and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. All right, I, let's go. Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Uh, are you sure? But his disciples did not think this was a good idea because the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus, but Jesus told them they were going anyway. He said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Eh, yeah, be okay. The disciples thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping, so Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. What? And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there. For now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. Thomas said to his fellow disciples, let's go too and die with Jesus. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Many people had come to be with Mary and Martha because their brother had died. 
When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said, he will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then she returned to Mary. She told Mary, The teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. When the people who were at the house consoling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus's grave to weep. Oh, let's go too. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, See how much he loved him? But some said, This man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry and he arrived at the tomb. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Wait, hold on, Jesus! But Martha protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus said, Didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? Go ahead. So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here, so they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus came out, his hands, feet, and head wrapped in cloth. Uh -huh. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Many of the Jews who were there believed in Jesus, for he had raised Lazarus from the dead. You were right, Tabes. Jesus did show empathy when he cared for Lazarus and his family. Because they were sad, Jesus was sad too. The Bible tells us that Jesus wept on behalf of his dead friend and his friend's sisters. It hurt him to see them so upset. Part of loving people as God loves them means sharing feelings with them. But empathy is more than just sad. I can feel happy when other people feel happy. I can feel angry when other people feel angry. I can feel excited when other people feel excited. And so many more feelings. That's right. And we can even show empathy to people who aren't our friends. We can have empathy for everyone because it shows people that we care about them and that God loves them. I bet Greg has some good stuff to say about empathy. Let's travel through the technology with him and check out the newest episode of Screen Hunters. Yes! Greg, I love you. Hey guys, it's me, Greg. <laughs> Okay, I can't do the voice the whole time, but welcome back to Screen Hunters. Dan and I have been pretty bored here in the studio, which, well, it led to a little bit of a discovery. That's right, we can play video games on the green screen. Sort of. I'll show you how it works. We've hooked up Mario Party to the green screen so you can see all the gameplay on the screen behind me. I will of course be playing as a Mario and cameraman Dan will be playing as Luigi. We're playing to see who the ultimate Mario Party winner is. I have my controller right here and let's get this thing kicked off. Cameraman Dan is Luigi and we're jumping here. Look at all these mini games we got. All right, here we go. Smashing Crab, me versus Dan. So Dan's driving the crab right now. 
and they're trying to throw the smash on me, but I'm feeling quick today. Whoa! That was a close call. We got 10 seconds coming down, Dan. Stay alive, buddy, stay alive! Move like a crab! Shift like a crab! One! Whoa! First game, Greg! Mario wins! So next up, we're in the kitchen, everybody. We're playing a little game called Sizzlin' Steaks. We're gonna see who could cook their meat the fastest here. Oh, God, I lost my first meat! Gotta be easy with the pan. Really flipping and marinating there. Dan's got one side left. Come on! Come on, Mario! His plate is full! I'm still competing. <laughs> I'm losing my steak here, team. That's why I microwave all my food. Strictly cereal and DiGiorno pizza. All right. So, Dan won that one. Luigi wins. Turns out Sizzlin' Steaks wasn't my game. Now, I love this game. I played Little League 10 years. So, Dan, I'm gonna give you a run for your money, buddy. Oh, I'm in the zone, Dan. Heater. All right. You gotta be quick, Dan. You gotta be quick, buddy. Oh! You gotta be quick. Oh, no! Let's go! Mario with another win. I told you not to challenge me in baseball. Maybe cooking, Dan, not baseball. It's a little game called Slapperazzi. Now you're getting everyone out of the way so you can take the perfect selfie. Ugh, I'm getting beat up over here. Get out of the way. Yes, Mario! Plus three, looking beautiful. Not today, not today, Dan. Come on, Mario, get in there, buddy. Woo! With the fist out. You can do it, buddy, go! Yeah, Mario! <laughs> Plus three points! Mario coming in for the win! Dan, I told you I was gonna beat you, buddy! You had nothing against me! Look at the champion! Celebrate him now! It's a Mario! It's a me! Man, I love playing this game! And... Uh, Dan... I'm sorry. I gotta apologize. Y you did great. You did great, too. I know, I'm sorry, okay? Uh, look, I get a little bit competitive. Dan hasn't beat me yet. He's actually, you know, he's never beat me in Mario Party. It's one of my favorite games. And I tend to go a little bit overboard when I play the game. I mean, I even have a fake mustache on. I mean, there's nothing wrong with winning, but being a good sport is important too. Now, even when we win, or you do better at something than someone else, we should still be sensitive to their feelings. I mean, Dan's a good sport. He's my camera guy, he's my friend. But even though I won, it means that he lost. Now, since he's my friend, I can be sad that he lost while still being happy that I won. Now, being a good friend and, a, and caring about other people's feelings is what's most important. Now, we've talked before about how we were made in God's image. Not in a Mario costume, but the best example of what it looks like to act like God is to look at Jesus's life while he was here on earth. Now, people at that time couldn't fully understand just how important Jesus was, but that never made Jesus arrogant. He didn't go around demanding special treatment because he was the son of God. He didn't ignore the problems and the pain of those around him either. Jesus made time for everyone because he cared deeply for them all. Even though he was 100% God, Jesus was also 100% man. He had feelings and concerns, family and neighbors and friends, just like all of us. One of those friends was a man named Lazarus. Jesus got the word that his friend was sick. When Jesus arrived to the town where Lazarus lived, Lazarus' sister went to Jesus and told him that Lazarus had died. This news greatly moved and troubled Jesus. He cared about Lazarus and his sisters, and he was so sad. Now, he even wept. Now, even as a man, Jesus had immense power, and eventually, he used that power to raise Lazarus from the dead. That's incredible. But what's even more incredible is what happened when Jesus first visited Lazarus' tomb. He cried for his friend. Now, despite all of his power and wisdom in that moment, Jesus still experienced the same grief and sadness that we would feel if we lost one of our friends. I love this story so much because it shows the extent that Jesus cared for those around him. He never acted superior or uncaring, even though he had plenty of reason to. Jesus loves each of us the same way. You know, he cares about the problems we experience and the sadness that we feel. Now, he might have more wisdom and perspective than us, but that doesn't make our earthly troubles any less important to him. But if we can follow Jesus' example of empathy, 
you'll be able to love others in a similar way. You could celebrate when a friend wins a game. You could be sad with someone when their parents get a divorce. And you could be excited for them when they accomplish something really important. By recognizing our friends and how they feel and the things they experience in their lives, we can be better friends and neighbors to those around us. So when you're going through hard times, remember, Jesus cares about your experience. And when you see someone else going through a hard time, you could love them, be happy for them, care for them, or even cry with them like Jesus did. Now, that is it for today's lesson. I'm getting out of the Mario outfit, and Dan, I owe you a big apology. I think I'm gonna actually challenge him to another game of Mario Party. In the meantime, I'll see you guys next week. Dan, let's do this thing. And I'm sorry for being mean to you, it won't happen again. But the mustache is coming on. We're playing. I'm taking sizzling steaks this time, Dan. I'm the cook. Hey, thanks, Greg. That was awesome. It's so important to show other people that we care about how they feel. God cares about how we feel, and since we were created in God's image as His children, we can and should care about how other people feel. That's some good stuff, Tabor. And you know what? Seeing Greg back in the studio got me thinking. I think we're ready for another game of what do you think? Oh yeah! It's game time! Game time! Hey guys, welcome to game time. Today's game is called Emoji, Emoji Face. Face. Cameron, tell them what we have going on today. All right, so basically how this game works, we're gonna be pulling up a emoji face right behind us on the screen, okay? So your goal and objective is, is to make an emoji face, but not the one that's on the screen. The last one finishes, wins, okay? So, but before we get started, let's learn all the emoji faces. So Tabor, tell them what the first one is. First face is going to be kissy face. Let's try doing that right now. Okay, here we go. That right. was good. That I was pretty that was good. On both of us. All right, next face. What do we have? We got the winky face. Nice. Good job, everyone. That's pretty now good. Now we got the crazy face. Ah. What? You look weird. Yeah, no, I, I tried to do the face. Oh, no, you look crazy. You look crazy. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. All right, next face. Screaming face. Flush face. What was that? I don't know, uh, I feel flushed. Yeah. Okay. That's good, you were flushed. <laughs> All right, ready? Nervous face is the next one. Ready? Three, two, one, go! All right, now that we know all the emoji faces, let's get started with round one. Okay, go ahead and pick the emoji face in your mind. We're gonna start out with the first face in three, two, one! The crazy face! Oh. Wow, look at look, crazy! <laughs> if you did the same crazy face, Make some room for the other people who didn't make the crazy face and let's cheer them on because we're going to the next slide in three, two, one. Boom! Nervous face! Nervous face! Whoa. If you made a nervous face, you probably look like this. Woo! Probably because you got a little nervous before we showed the slide. <laughs> That's okay though. So if you made the nervous face, go ahead and step to the side. Everyone else that's still in the game, go ahead and stay in the middle. All right, we're gonna go to round three. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, winky face! Some of you probably got a little too confident, made a wink, thought you, you'd get past this round. <laughs> but it's okay, let's move to the side, make some room for the people who didn't. In three, two, one, we're going to the next slide in. Whoa, screaming, screaming face! face! All right, there it is. Awesome, so if you made a screaming face, I'm sure it was probably amazing, but uh, unfortunately you lost this round, so go ahead and step to the side. All right, everyone that's still in the round, go ahead and gather close, and we're gonna start our next slide in three, Two, one, winky face. face! Oh my goodness! Did we do this again? Did we do this before? Do you have a good winky face? I, I think I have a great winky face. Show them, show them what they got. All right, that's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> pretty good. I, I mean, I think so. All right, let's go to the next slide. In three, two, one, flush face! face! It's kind of oh. like it's kind of like it's kind of like you're looking at us, not knowing what's going on, and just like who is, who are these guys? If you're making that face, <laughs> then you probably made the same face. Let's move to the side and. Awesome, all right, so if you're still in the game, go ahead and gather in the middle. Everyone that made the flesh face, go to the side. We're gonna show the next slide in three, two, one. Kissy, kissy face. face! Wow! That's uh, such a funny That's emoji. That's a cute one. That's a cute one if That's I didn't say so myself. All right, let's get, you know the rules. If you did the same face, let's move to the side. And we're going to the next slide. For those of you still in the game, in three, two, one. 
Whoa! Nervous, nervous face! face. Oh. I love the nervous face. Wow. So nervous. I love the nervous face. I love the nervous face. I, nervous. I do that on a daily basis. <laughs> I mean, that's how much I love it. Okay, so if you made a nervous face, unfortunately, you gotta move to the side. We'll give you time to step back a little bit. All right, next slide. In three, two, one. Five! Ah! Screaming face! Screaming face! Oh, don't scream too much on that one. It's yeah, okay, let's, all right. Whoever made the same face, let's part like the Red Sea. And this is gonna be the last face we're coming on. It's gonna be a really good one. In three, two, one! Ah, oh, crazy, crazy face! face. Ah. Wow. wow, wow, that's a good crazy face. That was face. pretty Can good. Show him again. Yes. Show him again. Wow, look at that. Keep I it. even crossed my eyes. No, that's good. That was good. Good game, you guys. Great game. And thank you so much for joining us for Emoji Face. I'm sure it was fun. Congratulations to, to all the winners. And thanks so much for joining us for Game Time. We'll see you guys next week. We love you. Love you so much. Because we are created by God, we can become more like Him in what we think, do, and say by spending time with God. One way to spend time with Him is through worship. So get ready and let's worship God together.
In today's Bible story, we saw how Jesus had empathy for his friends. In fact, he was deeply troubled to see them go through the pain brought on by sin and death. The pain made Jesus angry because his desire is for all people to be rescued from the power of sin and death. Jesus used this as an opportunity to show everyone that he had the power over sin and death. He wanted them to see this power so they would believe in him as the Son of God and spend eternity with God one day in heaven. Part of loving people as God loves them is sharing in their feelings. Showing them that you care can help you show them that God cares about them too. Take some time this week to think about how someone else feels and be sensitive to their feelings and show them love by sharing in their feelings. Let's pray and ask God for help. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you love us and that you love those around us. Open our eyes to see how we can be sensitive to how others feel and show us how we can show them your love this week. Amen. Practice showing empathy in your own house today by taking time to pay attention to everyone's feelings and by loving your family as God loves them. Have a great day.